Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite sourdough recipes. It is honey wheat sourdough sandwich bread. It is so easy to make. This bread consists of whole wheat flour, bread flour, honey, and a little bit of olive oil that's going to help to keep this sandwich bread nice and soft. There's really not a whole lot of hands-on time when it comes to making this dough. It's more of simply just letting the sourdough work its magic. So I think you're really going to love how easy this is to put together. And I want you to take note that in the instructions, it calls for this to rise for about four hours during the first rise and the second rise. Now that is in a kitchen that is somewhere in the ballpark of 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. If your kitchen is warmer than 72 degrees, then you are gonna want to let this rise for less time. I would recommend you checking it around the two hour mark. That's because in warmer kitchens, the sourdough will rise faster. Also, before you mix this dough, make sure that you feed your starter so that when it comes time to put everything together, it's active and bubbly and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. In a large mixing bowl, weigh the water, sourdough starter, honey, olive oil, and salt, and stir to combine these ingredients. Next, add the bread flour and the wheat flour and use a spatula to get the mixture started. Switch to your hands and mix until there are no dry bits left in the bowl. Cover the bowl and let it rest at room temperature for one hour. Once the hour is up, stretch and fold the dough until it starts to form a tight ball. This will take about 30 seconds. It helps to wet your hands with a little water to keep the dough from sticking. Cover the bowl and allow the dough to rise for about three and a half to four hours in a kitchen that is anywhere from 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and gently press it into a rectangular shape, pressing out any large bubbles. Fold each side in and then roll the dough into a log shape. Place the dough seam side down into a lightly greased 9 by 5 inch loaf pan. Allow the dough to rise to the top of the loaf pan. This rise should take about as long as the first, anywhere from 3 to 4 hours. Bake the loaf in a 375 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. Remove and allow it to cool for 10 to 15 minutes before transferring the bread to a cooling rack. Allow the loaf to cool completely before slicing. That's really how easy it is to make this sandwich bread. It will stay good at room temperature for, you know, three to four days. Uh, I like to store it in these bread bags, but you can also store it in any kind of bag that you have. You could also put it on a cutting board with a glass dome on the top. I like to do that too. But you can see that this bread has a really nice even crumb and it's perfect for sandwiches or toast because your ingredients won't fall through the holes. So this is what we're looking for. And this is like super, super soft, even after a few days at room temperature. You can also freeze this bread, just allow it to cool completely in the pan. I'm sorry, allow it to cool completely before you wrap it in plastic wrap. And I would insert that into some type of freezer safe bag to prevent freezer burn. And you can keep that in your freezer for up to three months. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this honey wheat sourdough sandwich bread as much as we do. And until next time, bye.